In this chapter, we will be looking at units of measurement. In this lesson, we'll perform conversions between units of capacity and mass. Okay, hi everybody. So in this lesson, we're looking at capacity and mass conversions. And just like it says here in a previous lesson, we looked at, at conversions um, between linear measurements. Okay, and we were looking specifically uh, between the metric system and the imperial system, or even within the imperial system. Uh, because you need to typically use a conversion factor in there uh, to make it work. Now, the more comfortable you get with, with that sort of process, the easier that gets. But if you're, you're new to it here, having that, that conversion factor is, is quite nice and quite, uh, makes that, that calculation quite straightforward here. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a similar sort of a thing, but we're going to look at capacity and mass. But we're going to do the exact same thing. Okay, we're going we're gonna to use the conversion, uh, then we're going to set up a, a proportion, and then s solve the proportion here. Now, capacity is the amount that an object can hold. It's a measure of its volume. And mass is the amount of matter in an object. Just like it says here, and we always feel compelled to, to make an issue out of this, it is different than weight. Because remember, weight is a measure of, of how much the Earth is pulling you down, or the, like the planet that you're on is pulling you down. And that is, that is related to mass, but it is a slightly different idea. So with mass, uh, we're looking at uh, kilograms, grams, pounds, ounces, and so on and so forth. So anyways, now let's take a quick look. Let's just jump in and do some questions so that you can get a sense of, again, how this pattern of conversion works. Okay, so here we go. We're going to convert to start off with 62, sorry, 628 grams into ounces. Well, we're given the conversion here that one ounce is the same as 28.3 grams. So to set up our proportion here, we need to put the grams in the right spot, and that's going to be down here in the denominator because that's where it was on the, the left-hand side of the proportion. Now, and I, I know I said it in a previous lesson here, but I'll say it again. It doesn't matter. I could have had this flipped. I could have had the 28.3 grams in the numerator, one ounce in the denominator. I would have just put the 628 grams in the numerator then. As long as I'm consistent, it doesn't really matter how I set that up. Okay, as long as you're consistent from one side to the other here. So we've got X ounces here. So we're going to cross multiply. One ounce times 628 is 628. And then this will be X times 28.3. So I already know my answer here is going to be uh, in ounces. Now, once I've got that uh, on the right-hand side there, that 28.3, uh, remember, that's going to be a coefficient of my x. And so to get rid of it, I have to divide both sides. So I pull out my calculator here. So 628 divided by 28.3. And we get 22. And let, again, I've kind of gotten into the habit of doing this. I'll just keep doing it. Round to the nearest hundredth. So 22.19. 20, so it's approximately 22.19 ounces. Now let's convert from pounds to kilograms. Uh, and by the way, it's an interesting thing. Um, just, just with uh, cooking and whatnot, uh, it's, it's interesting how many times I actually do have to make this kind of a conversion here and think it through, particularly when I'm, I'm putting meat to defrost into our uh, microwave. And I know I could probably change the, the units on the microwave, but I, but I don't. I just end up doing this quick conversion because I know that one kilogram is the same as 2.2 pounds. So now here, we've got 142.7 pounds. The question is, how many kilograms is that? And again, we're going to cross multiply. Once our proportion is set, we cross multiply. So 1 times 142.7 is just going to be 142.7. And then I'm going to have 2.2 uh, times x. So to get the x by itself, we're going to divide by that coefficient, that 2.2. So 142.7 divided by 2.2, and I get 64.86. Okay? And in this case here, I mean, a kilogram is, is bigger than a pound, so I'm not surprised at all that that number got, got substantially smaller there. Okay? So there we go. Let's take a look at another one. 4.32 pounds, 2 ounces. Okay, so now we're, we're, we're converting within the system here. So one pound over 16 ounces, that's the conversion factor that we're given, is going to be 4.32 pounds 
over x ounces. So we're going to cross multiply. And, and again, I said it before, but I'll say it again. I love it when I get to multiply the x by 1, okay? Because it just makes the, the question that much more straightforward. Because now all I got to do is multiply 16 by 4.23, sorry, 4.32. Is that right? Yeah, 4.32. And we get 69.12. Uh, actually, and I shouldn't have put approximately there. It, it is actually exactly, so you can ignore that little dot there. I've gotten so used to putting the dot there that I, I did it even though it's not required here. Because this one was exactly 69.12. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, 17 liters into gallons. Okay, so we know that one gallon is equal to 3.785 liters. And in this case, I know we're working with 17 liters. The question is, how many gallons do we have? So this becomes 3.785 times x is equal to 17 times 1, or just 17. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 3.785. So those cancel there. And then pull out the calculator. 17 divided by 3.785. And we get 4.49. And this time, it is, it is okay to use that approximate because I did have to round. 4.49. Now, just a few questions that, that add a context to it. Okay, so in this question we read, Max is a nurse and needs to give a patient 0 0.02 milliliters of medicine for every kilogram the patient weighs. So how much medicine should he give a patient who weighs 168 pounds? Okay, so when one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So there's two things that's, that are going on here. We got to first convert this into kilograms. Then we got to figure out how much medicine the, the person's going to get here. So one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. We know that the patient is 168 pounds. We don't know how many kilograms they are. So we cross multiply and one times 168 is 168. And then we get 2.2 times x. That's the coefficient, so we're going to divide by 2.2. Okay, and so on my calculator here, 168 divided by 2.2. Okay, and we're getting 76.36. Okay, x is 76.36 kilograms. Now, the question says that he's got to give uh, 0 0.02 milliliters for every kilogram. So therefore, the medicine that we give is going to be 0 0.02 milliliters for every kilogram. So that's 76.36 kilograms here. So we've got to multiply that, uh, this out here. Now, this is actually supposed to be milliliters per kilogram. Uh, just to be cl uh, clear here, milli milliliters per kilogram. I should have written that out right away here. But now, just to make sure that I don't make any kind of rounding errors here, I'm going to take even though I'm going to multiply by 76.36, I'm going to use the number that the calculator had calculated and multiply that by 0 0.02. And I get, when I round that, approximately uh, 1.53 milliliters. Okay? Now, I've got a couple more here. On Abe's U.S. road trip, he runs out of gas. How much will it cost him to fill his tank of 44 liters if gas is $2.42 per gallon? This is, this is a good question. So first of all, we got to convert his tank from liters into gallons. So we know that one gallon is going to be 3.785 liters. Don't know how many gallons he's got, but we know that it's 44 liters. So cross multiply, 1 times 44 is 44. This becomes 3.785 uh, times x. So now we want to get the x by itself, so we're going to divide by that coefficient. So 40, whoops, 40, uh, not too many fours. Divided by 3.785 and to the nearest hundredth, 11.62. So x is approximately 11.62. Uh, gallons. Now, the cost for gas is going to be $2.42 per gallon. 
and we're going to multiply that by our 11.62 ga uh, gallons here. Sorry, I should have put that in there. Ah, that looks terrible. Uh, but I don't have my the little eraser thing, so I'm sorry about that. And so now we are going to multiply that, and I'm going to leave the decimal there. I'm going to multiply that by 2.42, and we get $28.13. Okay. One more. Chloe is making burgers at home. How many quarter pound burgers will she, need, she be able to make if she bought two kilograms of meat? So once again, there's a couple calculations going on here. First of all, I've got to figure out how, many, how much meat she's got in terms of pounds. But then what I've got to do is I've got to divide that by the one quarter. Each, each one of these burgers is going to be a quarter of a pound. So how many is that? And so here we go. One kilogram is 2.2 pounds. We've got two kilograms here. It's going to be X pounds. And again, I love the fact that uh, when I multiply across here, I'm going to get X times 1. Love it when that happens. And this becomes 2.2 times 2. So X is equal to 4.4 pounds. So now what I want to do is I want to, I want to get the number of, of burgers here is going to be 4.4 pounds divided by... Uh, sorry, and this time I actually do have to go find that thing because I really wrote that wrong. <laughs> a lot of these things have been multiplication. I'll even fix this one up here. There, that one looks a little bit better. Uh, I got to, I got to be careful about this one. I've taken that 4.4 pounds and I'm dividing it into quarter pounds. I'm dividing it. I'm not multiplying it. I'm div uh, dividing it. Okay, so 4.4 .4 divided by a quarter. So in 4.4 .4 pounds, how many quarter pounds are there? And we get 17.6 burgers. Well, I think we all know that that 0.6 burger probably got fed to the dog. Therefore, it was 17 burgers. And that's, that's what we do.